If you need to deploy Office 365, then check out Smart Deploy's custom application pack feature that allows you to design and deploy your Office 365 installation without changing your image or touching the target machine. You can choose your components and even set your licensing and choose your update channel. Give it a try. Hi everyone, I'm Jeff from the Smart Deploy support team here to walk you through creating an Office 365 application pack using Smart Deploy. Before we get into that, I'll give you a quick rundown of my workstation here. So we have a, a virtual machine on the left that I'm going to pretend is my Smart Deploy client. And if we switch to the computer management workspace, we can see it's here and ready to go. So let's get started with creating our pack. I'll switch to the Applications and Tasks workspace and click the green plus icon and click create an application pack advanced. We do have a wizard, but for this particular operation, we want to step through all of the, the fields and configure everything ourselves. So I'll click that to bring up the application manager. Now when this starts, the first thing to do is click file and click new and save it. And I'm gonna save it in the applications packs folder of my smart deploy directory and just give it a simple name, 65. Smart deploy, so remember it's one that I made, and click save. Now we're going to fill in some information about our application pack. We'll give it an easy name, which is easy to give it Office 365. This is a Microsoft product. We're going to leave the application type application. We can do scripts, but uh, we're going to be using application here. And for the version, I'll click one. And for the product version, we're going to be choosing our own update path within the, the setup, so we'll just do 2020 to mind us we made this in this year. Now, let's expand our folder here and go to the tasks portion. So I'm going to right click task and click configure Office 365 task. Now you might recognize this if you've done an unattended installation of Office before. You would use their tool to set all of the parameters and it would be saved into an XML file. Then you'd bundle that all up together and you would run their setup and point it at the XML file with all the information for your um, office installation. That's not unlike what we're doing, except that we're just making it much, much easier for you. So starting from the top, we're going to download that tool for you and save it on the endpoint where you're trying to deploy office to. And then we're going to create the XML file that has all the information that you specify and then run the installation for you. So let's get into what that's going to look like. So first, I'm going to choose 64-bit, and then I'm going to choose the products I want to install. So I want to install Office 365 Pro Plus. It, they, we do have a couple options here, but Pro Plus seems to be the, the most common one. We can install Visio if we like, and Project. Uh, it's it's whatever, whatever uh, you need for your particular installation. Now, the update channel, I like to use the uh, the monthly, and uh, we'll, we'll do the latest, because we want to stay up to date, and that's just fine. We can be uh, more picky about which apps we want to include. This is the, the default, which I'm going to leave. That's totally fine. We'll select the language. The primary language that I'm speaking is English. I don't need any additional languages. Uh, licensing and activation. If we were to choose some one of the uh, volume license options, this would be enabled and allow us to specify a Mac key if we needed to do something like that. But we're going to do user base. It's totally fine. Some general stuff. We can, you know, whatever this needs to be that fits your needs, you can put whatever you need here. And in here, we don't need to customize this, but as I mentioned, we're going to create this XML file for you on the fly and then run the setup using the XML file here to install Office. Normally, you'd have to do this all ahead of time, but we're doing it on the fly. And we're done. I don't need any filtering options. Uh, I'm, I'm ready to go. So I'll click File, Save, close this, and let's head back up to Computer Management. Now, if I click All Computers, select my client, and I go deploy application. My Office 365 pack is here with all the others I've downloaded and created. I'll hit this little arrow and click go. And so we'll see the clock icon here and as soon as the, the next interval that our client checks in, it's going to get the message to say, hey, it's time for you to deploy. And then we're going to see Office 365 install. And I'm going to speed this up a little bit for our video so we're not waiting for it to do its thing to download and 
and uh, run the inst installation setup. But we're going to see everything populate in apps and features as this processes. And so we can even see the little arrow here. It lets us know that the application is deploying. Our client has checked in. It's received the installation instructions. So it's going to get started. And so we'll, let's let it finish. OK, so we saw Microsoft Office 365 appear in our apps and features. That took me about five minutes downloading all of the files that it needed. And I'm at my workstation at home, which is about 45 megabits. And so to give you an idea how long it, it would take. So if I click Start, we'll see our recently added Office products here ready to go in our workstation pushed by Smart Deploy using application packs. And it's super easy. If you have any problems using this feature, please reach out to support at smartdeploy.com. And we have documentation on this as well for you to follow, just in case you prefer that, at our support uh, website at support.smartdeploy.com. And as always, thanks for watching. We hope it was really helpful. Please hit subscribe so you can stay up to date on our helpful videos and stuff, because I do like making these for you guys. And if you have any suggestions, please shoot us uh, anything at feedback at smartdeploy.com. We'll be happy to make a video if there's something that's unclear and we don't already have a video of. All right, see you around.